Have you ever wondered what it would be like if all the boys and girls at your school suddenly stopped talking? Would school be able to even function? Well, I have a book that talks about that very thing that we're going to talk about in just a moment. Well, hey everyone, my name is Mr. Pearson. I am a third grade teacher and one of my favorite parts of my job is getting to recommend books to boys and girls, just like you, um, so that they can fall in love with reading. And one of the books that I always recommend, this is one that I read to my own students, is called No Talking by Andrew Clements. Now, he's written many, many books. Perhaps some of his most famous are A School Story. Uh, he wrote a book called Frindle, and he has a brand new one out called uh, The Frindle Files. But this book is called No Talking. And in this story, there is a group of fifth grade boys and girls at a school called Layton Elementary School. And these kids are known as the unshushables because they never stop talking. Until one day, through a series of events and some insults that are exchanged between the boys and the girls because they don't get along very well, they come up with a contest. And the boys and the girls in the fifth grade class at Layton Elementary School decide that they're going to see who can go the longest and say the fewest number of words without talking. And so for two whole days, they decide they are not going to talk unless an adult at school answers them. So what would that be like? Could you go all through class without talking? What would it be like on the bus or at PE or when you get home? What would you do if you had a phone call or had to get a haircut or go see the doctor because you had a stomach ache? All of those are challenges that the boys and girls of Layton Elementary School have to work through. And here's an even bigger challenge. What happens when the principal gets involved? Now, all of these questions are answered in the book, No Talking by Andrew Clements. I certainly hope that you will take the time to read it. It's fantastic. I read it to my students almost every single year and they always love it and go to the library to look for it. You should be able to find this in your school library. If not, I'm positive the public library has it. And of course, you can always ask your mom and dad, your grown up to order it for you. Well, again, my name is Mr. Pearson. Like I said, I'm a third grade teacher and today's book was no Talking by Andrew Clements. I hope you read it. I hope you like it. And if you do, have a grown-up help you. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And I'll see you next time with another book review.